Media playback is unsupported on your device. Media caption in Barcelona Central Square. The crowd sings freedom for Catalonia. Thousands of Catalans have protested against the detention of eight regional ministers sacked over Catalonia's push for independence from Spain. The officials who appeared in Spain's high court are accused of rebellion, sedition and misuse of public funds. Prosecutors are also seeking a European arrest warrant for ousted Catalan leader Carles Puigdemont, who did not show up in court and is now in Belgium. The request also covers four other ex-ministers who ignored the summons. Spain has been gripped by a constitutional crisis since a referendum on independence from Spain was held in Catalonia on 1 October in defiance of a constitutional court ruling that had declared it illegal. Last week, Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy imposed direct rule on Catalonia, dissolving the regional parliament and calling local elections for 21 December. This came after Catalan lawmakers voted to declare the independence of the affluent northeastern region. The Catalan government said that of the 43% of potential voters who took part in the referendum, 90% were in favor of independence. On Thursday, thousands of people gathered outside Catalonia's regional parliament in Barcelona. Many carried Catalan flags and slogans that read freedom for political prisoners. Similar protest rallies were held in other Catalan towns. Political parties and civic groups in the affluent northeastern region also condemned the judicial move. What happened in Spain's high court in Madrid? Nine out of 14 summoned Catalan ex-ministers appeared before Judge Carmen Lamela. She said they had to be detained because they might otherwise leave the country or destroy evidence. Image caption seven of the eight ex-ministers were pictured turning up to court together. Those who were held are former Deputy Vice President Oriol Junqueras, former Interior Minister Joaquim Forn, former Foreign Affairs Minister Raul Romiva, former Justice Minister Carlos Mundo, former Labor Minister Dolores Bossa, former Government President C. Councillor Jordi Torral, former Sustainable Development Minister Josep Rull, former Culture Minister Merit Calboras, the ninth official, ex-Business Minister Santi Vila, was granted bail at the request of prosecutors. He quit before the Catalan Parliament voted for independence last Friday. In addition to Mr. Pugdemont, prosecutors have asked Spain's High Court judge to issue European arrest warrants for the following Catalan officials Miracle Serrat, former Agriculture Minister Antony Cummin, former Health Minister Luis Puig, former Culture Minister Clara Ponzati, former Education Minister Five other senior members of the Catalan Parliament, as well as Speaker Carm Forcato, are facing the same charges but, because of their parliamentary immunity, their cases are being handled by the Supreme Court. Their hearings have been postponed until the 9th of November. How did Carl's Pugdemont react? In a statement broadcast on Catalan TV from an undisclosed location in Belgium, he described the detentions as an act that breaks with the basic principles of democracy. I demand the release of the ministers and the vice-president, he added. Image Copyright Radio Television Espanola Image Caption Carl's Pugdemont was pictured in a Belgian cafe Mr. Pugdemont, who was spotted in a Brussels cafe on Thursday, has said he will not return to Spain unless he receives guarantees of a fair trial. He did not specify his exact demands. Belgium's federal prosecutor has said the law will be applied once an arrest warrant is received, according to FA News Agency. Mr. Pugdemont's lawyer said the climate was not good for him to appear in court, but he also said his client would cooperate with the authorities in Spain and Belgium. Mr. Pugdemont's handling of the crisis has drawn criticism among some other Catalan politicians, with left-wing parliamentary deputy Joan Josep Nuet criticizing him for creating yet more bewilderment. Spain's central bank warned on Thursday of the significant risks and economic costs resulting from the crisis, and that Catalonia's economy could fall into recession. Early numbers suggest that the vital tourism sector of the region has already been affected by the ongoing uncertainty. EU arrest warrant what happens next? If Spain's high court judge issues a warrant, a European arrest warrant EAW will be sent to Belgian prosecutors, who have 24 hours to decide whether the paperwork is correct. If they do, they then have 15 days to arrest Mr. Pugdemont and the four others. If one or all of them appeals against it, that process could last another 15 days. Belgium has a maximum of 60 days to return the suspects to Spain after arrest. But if the suspects do not raise legal objections, a transfer could happen within a few days. A country can reject an EU arrest warrant if it fears that extradition would violate the suspect's human rights. Discrimination based on politics, religion or race is grounds for refusal. So or fears that the suspect would not get a fair trial. There is an agreed EU list of 32 offences in Article 2 of the EAW law for which there is no requirement for the offence to be a crime in both countries.
In other words, any of those offenses can be a justification for extradition, provided the penalty is at least three years in jail. However, neither sedition nor rebellion two of the Spanish accusations against the Catalan leaders are on that list.